Well, as you know, the Big Ten Women's Basketball Tournament, it kicks off tomorrow, and that is kicking off a very busy month of basketball here in the Circle City. As we prepare to welcome thousands of visitors, Fox 59's Darius Johnson is talking to health experts about how the tournaments could affect the spread of COVID-19 in our state. You can see downtown Indianapolis has been transformed for this large scale event. You'll notice it's not only prettier, it's also safer and health experts are sending an urgent message to Hoosiers and their guests. So Indiana doesn't backtrack. It's game time. Multiple venues, dozens of teams and even guests. This is kind of our opportunity as a state and especially as a city to show that we can put on a large event like this very safely during this time of sort of, you know, public health emergencies. COVID-19 is still spreading in central Indiana, but health experts like Dr. Paul Calkins at IU Health says our state is in good shape despite a bump in cases late last week. We've been falling since early January, pretty mm -hmm. dramatically actually. It does appear like the state as a whole in central Indiana is kind of leveling out at the moment. To put that into perspective, our metrics are higher than last summer, but lower than last fall. Dr. Brian Dixon at the Regan Shreve Institute says while numbers remain constant, that will be dependent upon Hoosiers and our guests. Continue to do those things that we have said, you know, keeps transmission down. Especially after the CDC has identified 28 cases of the UK variant in Indiana. Of course, that's the big question mark right because when the variants showed up in the UK their numbers went up almost vertically I mean it was very dramatic so that's the thing we're really watching the restaurants bars and venues have taken additional safety precautions like outdoor seating contactless payments and limiting capacity to continue to combat COVID while enjoying the big tournament use these tools that the city is putting in place to help keep the fans safe while we all enjoy the tournament, whether we watch it at home or whether we go downtown and are outside to enjoy some of the activities. Now, aside from that basic advice, experts say if a restaurant or bar or any environment gets too crowded, simply leave and go to the next one. Downtown Indianapolis is essentially the playground for this event, so there are plenty of things to do and places to go. Reporting in downtown Indianapolis, I'm Darius Johnson.